Alright guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Um, we're gonna talk about some blurs in this video. Um, yeah, you might see right in After Effects our themes we left last time. And today we wanna add some blurs to some themes, especially on some scales we did in the scale video. So, for example, we got this scene where we have a little scale in. If you press S, you can see there's a scale. It goes from 0 to 125. And we want to add a blur to that one. So what we're going to do is usually without any plugins, we will go in searching for blur, which you find in blur and sharpen. So right here you see your blurs. Um, you can use whatever you like, what you prefer, like directional blur looks like this. Fast box blur or Gaussian blur and my preferation I use BCC, I like the blur of BCC blur, so I'm gonna use the BCC fast lens blur. BCC is also a plugin like Twitch in the last video and there are tutorials on YouTube how to install them. What we're gonna do is drag and drop the, the blur on it and then make sure at the first frame it's on zero. Then what you're gonna do is press U, as you can see we have scale in here all the keyframes we did the twitch from last video and our scale and the blur so we're gonna go some frames forward something like this and we're gonna change the value to something around 10 and right here on the end of the frame where the scale also ends on zero again all right and then we're gonna select all the keyframes f9 Go on the graph editor and we're gonna do something like this. As you can see it's just a little blur that goes in when the scale starts. Which gives it some special extra. And that's basically it. You can use the blur of course in some other scenes as well. And I'm gonna show you how to do now. Um, for example, in that scene, we want to do a blur transition. So what we're going to do is Control alt y to create an adjustment layer, Control shift d to cut it, make it something like this, and now add again the blur, keyframe the iris scale again, put the amount of zero press u to see the keyframes in the middle change the value to 10 go at the end change it to zero pretty easy yeah pretty easy overlay you can see and that's it Pretty much everything to know about blur was not the longest video in the next video we're gonna talk about some flickers um yeah that should be also not a that long video um but i think it's easier to understand if i yeah make a cut between those different effects so you can search it easier on youtube as well if you have questions um and yeah after that flicker tutorial we're gonna talk about the Color correction, I guess. Yeah. All right. See you in the next video.